All right, we've talked about Spearman's and Pearson's correlation, and one of the parts I mentioned the fact that there's a difference between association and causation, and actually I want to spend a few minutes talking about that exact idea, um, causation versus the idea of association. Okay, Pearson's correlation is a measurement of linear association, and it's that association that we really need to key on. Spearman's correlation is a measurement of monotonic association. Neither Pearson's or Spearman's can be thought of to establish causation. If you're going to establish causation, then you're saying A causes B. When A changes, it causes B to change. When in reality, that's extremely difficult to do. Um, consider the um, cavities in the sugar example that we used that we talked about for Spearman's correlation. Can we really truly say that the increase in sugar caused the um, increase in cavities? No, there are many confounding factors. How about how often does a kid brush? You know, how much effect would sugar have on cavities if you ran around with a toothbrush and you brushed immediately after every time you ate or drank anything with sugar in it? So you can't say that caused it by itself. It may have contributed in one way or another, um, but you can't say it actually caused it. And it's very common to make that mistake. If you want to hear something funny, listen to politicians talk come election time. Quite often they, they take two variables, they look for correlation, they find a correlation, and they jump to this idea of causation. It's not a safe jump to make. Now, some data analysts believe that if you can control, if you can control for all possible confounding variables, and what you have left is an association, then you can make that causal jump. And personally, I, I believe that's probably true. But the hard part is, how do you possibly control for every possible confounding factor when in reality you may not even be able to identify some? There could be confounding factors that you know nothing about, have no way of even, even identifying it. So it's extremely important that you understand that there's a huge difference between saying A causes B versus there's an association or a strong association with A and B. As A changes, we see B changing. This, this occurs. Um, but saying it causes it, not a good idea. Okay, that's it. That's all I really want to talk about to make sure that you grasp the idea that causation and association, two different things.